What are some ways to keep your exercises under one hour? Find out in today's Q&A. Hey everyone, Selwyn here from windstrength.com where the goal of the channel is to help you get a little bit stronger every single day. Thank you for clicking on another 5 Minute Friday Q&A series where I attempt to answer your questions in under 5 minutes. Uh, if you have a question of your own, uh, drop a comment below and I'll get to that in a future video. So today's uh, video is just going to answer, throw out some ideas as to how I like to keep workouts more efficient when I need to um, and hopefully it will help you fit a workout into your busy schedule. So let's start that timer. So I guess not everyone wants to spend two to three hours in the gym every single day, which I just don't understand, but I guess they have more interesting lives than I do. Anyway, here are some strategies that you can use to keep your workouts more efficient and within a specific time frame. Uh, the first thing would be to keep an eye on your rest period. So make sure to keep them definitely under five minutes, possibly three and under. Um, the research does show that three minute rest periods are better for muscle hypertrophy than one minute rest periods, uh, just because you're able to rest longer and you give your muscles more time to recuperate, meaning you're able to lift more weights, which leads to more outcomes in hypertrophy and strength. But given the time constraints, this is probably gonna be one of the best ways that you can compromise between that. By even going from five minutes to three minutes, you're gonna be saving two minutes every set. And if you keep a strict eye on these rest periods, that's gonna really help you to uh, keep your uh, workouts under a specific time frame um, just because they do have a tendency to blow out if you look at your phone or you talk to someone in between sets that's probably not going to be a three minute rest period it might be a five six minute rest period so keep an eye on that clock use a stopwatch use your phone use a timer use anything to just make sure you have a handle on those rest periods uh, secondly is to use some compound lifts you get a lot of bang for your buck for the compound lifts such as like squat bench deadlift pull-ups rows uh, overhead press, things like that. The more joints you move, the more muscles you work out. This is because you're not just getting, uh, you're not just moving one muscle. So like a bicep curl, I'm just really exercising the bicep. Take a bench press, for example. I'm not just getting a chest effect, I'm also getting my triceps involved, as well as the core and my legs to a certain degree. So when you start doing these movements, now I don't have to necessarily train triceps directly because I've trained them with the chest with the bench press. So think about movements where there are more joints in motion because more joints in motion means more muscles are getting stressed. Uh, thirdly is to do more full body style workouts during your workouts. Might sound counterintuitive, but when we combine this with compound lifts, we're able to achieve more with less time, making more of an efficient workout. So it, it compresses and makes the week's workouts training plan a bit more easy to manage uh, because we're not trying to fit in biceps, triceps, chest, back, shoulders. We're just trying to fit in main big compound movement lifts over the course of the week. And remember that building muscle size doesn't come from isolation movements, it comes from volume. So I can get the same muscle building effect by just doing more volume with compound lifts rather than trying to focus on isolating each specific muscle group. Uh, next up would be to train most of your lifts in a superset or giant set fashion. So for the superset, this would be very equipment dependent for both of these, but for the superset, you're just performing two lifts back to back. Um, they can be either antagonist, uh, the same muscle group. They can be, so chest would be bench press and then my tricep pushdowns, or I could do chest with back, so bench press and a barbell row, or I could do two completely different things. So. Uh, overhead press and a deadlift. Um, so think about how you can just get creative and then just join two movements together based on your outcomes. Uh, another way is to perform giant sets. Uh, I learned this from Brian Olsru, where you have, you're grouping a bunch of movements together. So I, he likes to do them with a main movement, then an explosive secondary movement, then an ab movement, and then an antagonist movement. So you want to perform these all in a row without any rest in between. So for example, we start off with a squat, then we follow that with a box jump, then we do say a reverse crunch, and then we wrap that up with some stiff legged deadlifts. So we've attacked pretty much all of the butt, like most of the body in a really short amount of time. And then you only rest say 90 seconds to three minutes in between each giant set. So now we're compressing and condensing work into a really short amount of time, meaning we're able to get more work in with less time being necessary. Um, and finally, 
consider increasing your frequency of working out over the course of a week. So rather than try to get one two hour session, look at getting two one hour sessions. Maybe you go from say two hours a day, three days a week to one hour a day, five days a week. This way you can plan a little bit better, but you're in the gym for less time over like less time overall, but more frequently it might help fit into your schedule. Breaking that down even further, maybe two 30 minute sessions a day are gonna help you fit that into your workout, fit that into your regular schedule. And that might mean 10 sessions a week, but if that fits into your schedule, then that's gonna be great because it's gonna be better than not training. Hey, I think we fit it in there. Hopefully those gave you some ideas to keep your workouts quick, but efficient and effective and useful for you in the future. Uh, what I'll do is I'll be writing an article on my blog post, uh, where I'll link that below. So check that out, where I'll have some sample workouts, some sample uh, superset giant set ideas. So check that out. So if you found this video helpful, consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future content. Uh, please click that like button if you got some value out of it. This has been Selon from Wind Strength, and remember to never stop learning and to never stop lifting.